Hey everyone, it's Jason Dunn from Digital Home Thoughts, and this is part two of my look at the Dell Inspiron Mini 9. So this is essentially my review. I've had this netbook now for about a month, and I'm actually, I'm actually going to be sending it back to Dell uh, because it just it doesn't quite fit my needs exactly, but we're going to go through and uh, we'll, we'll talk about um, exactly you know what it is uh, that this thing is actually good at. So I'm going uh, to go ahead, I'm, I'm going to power this up here because I want to show you uh, what happens when the machine boots. So it takes about 30 seconds uh, for it to boot. There we go, so it's actually booting up right now. It takes about 30 seconds for it to boot, which is actually pretty good. This is, of course, the Windows XP version. Uh, this version I have has 16 gigs of solid state storage, so it's, its hard drive is actually uh, flash-based, and it has one, one gig of RAM. So it boots up pretty quick, but I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna show you something really weird, and I don't know why it does this. I'm going to zoom in on these icons here, and what you're going to see is the resolution, the initial resolution is wrong. So the screen's going to sort of flash here for a second, and then you're actually going to see the screen resolution change, and these icons are actually also going to change. And it's, there we go, so boom, so the screen just changed. Now, the, um, the native resolution of this particular machine is, I, I want to say it's 1024 by something. But I need to wait a second here because I'm, I'm going to actually cheat and look at the uh, specs because I can't exactly recall what it is. Um, I'm going to zoom in down here on the uh, system tray because the system tray, it, it, it has a lot loading. Like right now, there's this video chat loading. Okay, yeah, here's actually my, my window. So I'm just going to pop over here and just double check on the settings. Yeah, so it's 1024 by 600. Okay, so 1024 by 600, but the initial resolution that it boots up in is not 1024 by 600. It's some other resolution. Now, as I was saying down here, when we're looking at the uh, tray, there there are a lot of icons down here. So it ships with uh, McAfee uh, security, so for antivirus. Now, for me, I mean, netbooks aren't exactly the most powerful computers to begin with. And when you put on uh, antivirus software that's, that's, that's slow on desktop computers and laptops, you know, you're really asking for trouble. So uh, the Dell netbook right out of the box is definitely not very uh, fast or responsive. Uh, you know, you, you would probably, maybe, you maybe want to switch to AVG or another antivirus program that's a little bit uh, easier on system resources. This icon here is uh, the, the uh, right down here, is the Bluetooth icon. Now here's what's kind of weird. You saw that Dell video chat program loading when the, machine, when the laptop booted up, and we had the, the Bluetooth um, loading. Well, guess what? I'm gonna zoom in up at the top here, and what do you see? Nothing, right? There is no webcam. Uh, I did not get this unit with webcam or Bluetooth, and so it's really incredibly bizarre that Dell includes the software for webcams uh, and, and, and Bluetooth. Uh, I have really have no, no clue why they did that. And I'm going to show you another bizarre software thing. Okay, so we're just, just going to let that uh, go to sleep. So it's actually going to uh, suspend. And then um, I just want to make sure it's actually done. So we're going to turn it back on here. And I'm going to show you a bizarre thing that it does. So as soon as you come out of sleep mode, this stupid video chat software will actually pop up and it gives you an error about how it can't connect properly. And um, in a couple seconds here, it's going to switch to saying that, you know, everything's okay. But, you know, again, I don't have a webcam. Why would they give it to me? And, and two, even if you had a webcam, why would you want this ir irritating software? So now you can, of course, uninstall this. You can uninstall the Bluetooth software, you know, if you want. Um, I would be doing that if I was keeping it. But, you know, for a lot of average users, they're not really going to spend a lot of time or they might not even be comfortable uninstalling stuff. And so they'll actually just be putting up with errors like this. And I think that Dell, they did, Dell just did a really bad job with the software on this laptop. I don't, I don't know if it was rushed to market or what, but they did a bad job. So let's talk about battery life here for a second. Um, the, the, the screen um, goes down in brightness. It has, it has 15 notches in total of brightness. Uh, but as you notice, as I go up and down in brightness, there's no on-screen indicator. Which is kind of weird. I, I always prefer to have you know some sort of a, a little bar or something that actually tells me you know what what resolution or what brightness I'm at. I did a battery test where I where I tested uh, this 720p uh, WMV video file. So this is a video file that is 
um, high, high definition, 720p. Um, it's able to play back the video file without any problems. As you can see, there's no skipping or jumping or whatever. Um, it's able to play this back looping for two hours and 53 minutes. I did two separate tests and it works out, it works works quite well. Dell claims that you get four hours of battery life. And if you were, you know, just doing typing or browsing the web or whatever, that would probably be about right. I would say three and a half to four hours is what you should expect. Um, I'm going to point out something that I don't really like all that much about this screen. Uh, as you can probably tell, as you can see all these reflections from my lights and, and whatnot here, the screen is is highly reflective but it's not very high contrast and the two of those things usually go together you know if you're going to get a highly reflective screen um, that makes it kind of hard to see in different types of light the trade-off is usually that it's you know super high contrast or really really crisp this is neither so you know for me i would have really preferred to see dell do a, a matte screen you know something that actually was not so ridiculously shiny um, but you know again that's just uh, that's just kind of me now, as I mentioned, uh, this unit has one gig of uh, system RAM, and it has um, it has 16 gigs of uh, hard drive storage. So I'm going to zoom in here just so you can kind of check it out. Basically, um, the system measures 16 gigs of storage as really being 14.3 because that whole you know 1024 byte factor. And I have about 10.5 gigs um, on here, or I have about 10.5 gigs free, and I really virtually have like nothing installed. I have that video on there that's maybe 100 megs. So essentially out of the box, if you get the 16 gig option for storage, you're only going to be getting, you know, about 10 gigs. And depending on, you know, depending on what you want, that may be great or it may not be the best, it may not be the best fit in the world. You know, for me, I would like to carry all my photos with me on my netbook. And so um, this is obviously not a really good solution for that. So um, the good things about the Dell Inspiron Mini are the build quality. So the build quality overall is, is, is really, really great. Build quality on a lot of netbooks is quite poor, but the build quality on this is, is quite good. I mean, there's, there's not really a whole lot of flex. You know, um, the keyboard, while it is small, is, is, is high quality, works, works quite well. Um, the fit and finish of the Inspiron Mini is, is top notch. In fact, I would say this fit and finish is better than a lot of regular Dell notebooks. So they, they did a really good job of making it, you know, um, fairly rugged, uh, fairly, you know, um, well designed. It's got built-in Wi-Fi. It's got uh, built-in Bluetooth. If you pay for it, you can get the optional, you know, webcam, like like I mentioned earlier. So overall, I would say that that this unit is is going to be good, you know, for a lot of people. But the question becomes, you know, is this the best value on the market? So I paid um, about four. Let me see. 454 for this particular configuration that I got and again I didn't get the webcam or Bluetooth all right so 454 now if I close this down here and sort of move it to the side and I compare it to my MSI wind which I zoom out a little bit here the MSI wind is a little bit bigger as you can tell it's got a 10 inch screen um, and it's a little you know it's a little bit heavier it's got a six cell battery so as you can tell um, you know, I'm going to get better battery life, but it is actually going to be a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier. The MSI Wind is uh, about the same price. I paid about 450 for it. And for that 450 I got a 160 gigabyte hard drive. Um, I got a gig of RAM, but it's also user upgradable. So now I have two gigs of RAM in this. And I am going to actually be doing a separate video on this. So don't worry about that if, if you have any questions. Um, and for me, it also has a matte screen which looks fantastic. It gets a lot brighter than the Dell screen and it also um, doesn't have that irritating glare. So for my particular needs, the MSI Wind is a much better netbook and it provides a lot more bang for the buck. So um, the, the Dell netbook, you know, for some people is going to be great. I mean, it's smaller, it's lighter. I think it's like two and a quarter pounds or two and a half pounds or something like that. It's a really good netbook, but I would, you know, if you're interested in getting a netbook, Check out the MSI Wind. You know, see what see what price you can get it for, and uh, you may actually be pleasantly surprised that this MSI Wind will actually give you better value for the dollar than the Dell, and it'll actually you know it has it has a bigger keyboard and it's just a little bit more usable. So that's it for my look at the Dell Inspiron Mini. This has been Jason Dunn from Digital Home Thoughts. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please leave a comment if you have if you have a question, I'll answer it. Um, subscribe to our channel, and that's it. Thanks for watching.